Zachary Taylor was born on November 24, 1784. He was the 12th President of the United States. He was a military leader and was uninterested in politics. He was in the Army for 40 years and fought in a lot of wars. He really became famous when he led American troops to victory in the Battle of Palo Alto and the Battle of Monterey during the Mexican War. He had a moderate stance on slavery, which angered many Southerners because he was from the South. He wanted settlers in California and New Mexico to try for statehood, which set the stage for the Compromise of 1850. Taylor didn't say a lot about his political beliefs because he didn't have a lot. He didn't think it was a good idea to expand slavery west because crops wouldn't grow very good. He did own slaves himself, though, which is why he didn't hate slavery as much as most Northerners. When Taylor beat Lewis Case of the Democrats and Martin Van Buren, the Free Soil candidate, he was the last Southern president for 116 years. He was also the last president to have slaves well in office. Many Southerners were angry with Taylor, but he said that if they rebelled, he would lead the Union Army himself and hang them with no reluctance. When the Henry Clay version of the Compromise of 1850 was being debated, he died, so he never really got to make a final stand on what he thought about it. He died on July 9, 1850, only 16 months into his term. During his presidency, not a lot happened except for New Mexico and California becoming states, which set the stage for the Compromise of 1850. He wasn't all for or all against slavery, but he did keep the country together during his short term.